Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to your love reading. This is for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As you guys know, listen, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits. Don't try to force it to fit. It may not be your reading this time, but tomorrow you can always check back. It might be for you. All right, so please take that into consideration. If you want to get a personal reading from me, I do have some openings left for the rest of this week. So just click the link in the description box below, and uh, that will take you to my booking site. That is the only way that you can get a reading with me by clicking the link below. Okay, so welcome to all my new subscribers. We're almost at 10,000. Awesome. Thank you so much for all of your support and for tuning in every day. And if you're new and you enjoy this reading or the readings going forward, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't yet, please do and tick that notification bell. Okay, talking too much. So Virgo, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you. Doing the Celtic Cross past position, Three of Swords present, Seven of Swords with justice in the challenge okay eight of swords driving the reading the queen of wands we have the six of wands ten of pentacles the other person seven of wands hopes and fears the three of wands and the outcome is the four of pentacles and the three of cups okay so let's take a look and see the love messages here. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, thus far. Okay, let's see what the love messages are here. What does Virgo need to know? What are Virgo's love messages for now going through the rest of August 2021 for Virgo? Okay, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and wedding. The situation involves marriage. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm. I feel like somebody here really wants to work on this partnership. There was some type of heartache, heartbreak or breakup or something in the past. Um, so it seems like your partner really wants to try to work on this um, and even take it to the next le level, even engagement or a higher level of commitment or marriage. Okay. Um, hmm. But let's take a look and see what the energy is. Three of swords in the past. So definitely maybe a third party situation. Perhaps third party could represent somebody, person, place, or thing being involved. Um, Interference is how I feel. There's some kind of interference that caused a breach or a break or a split. Okay. Um, now, sometimes the Three of Swords can represent uh, maybe surgery, or surgery might have. Um, I just feel like a message for someone that you, you were connected with in the past. There was some, it's heart surgery. Okay, but what I feel like is going on here is there was some kind of a loss or an argument. Now give me a second. I just want to intuit this card a little bit. A little bit. Um, there's barbed wire all around this heart. It feels like somebody had like their heart was protected so that nobody could get in because they were hurt in the past or for others. This is kind of like, this is really painful, a really painful situation that happened in the past here. Very painful. Let me see here. Okay, Three of Pentacles. Could have been a breakup of a marriage. Or somebody left for school. Um, 
or some type of union or, coll or collaboration or, or something that was happening didn't work out in the past. This teamwork thing, you know, fell apart. Relationship, Three of Pentacles can represent marriage because, you know, it's working together. Okay, the world, right? Feels like a, a new chapter was trying to be written, but it didn't happen. Failure to launch is how I feel. Now, the present energy, though, here is the Seven of Swords. Somebody, somebody's like left, left the scene of the crime, dodged some kind of bullet or just left, got out of something. Um, there might have been deception or there's deception and lies connected to perhaps this situation. Okay. And I feel like with justice here, sitting in the position of the challenge, it's really hard to come by the truth, okay, in the present. It's really difficult to make this situation come to a place where um, there's a solution, a win-win, because there's a lack of trust here now, okay? The truth is trying to come out, but if somebody's coming in to give you some type of truth or tell you something, I feel like there's the, it feels like the boy who cried wolf. It feels like this person, like you don't trust them anymore, what they would even have to say. Even if they did tell the truth this time, there's a lack of trust. Okay, this person comes in, you know, uh, with this um, Eight of Swords, which driving them. This person is always seeking someone to rescue them. This is what drives them. Okay, they have low self-esteem, which is something that they could get themselves out of because if you look at her, she is not trapped. I mean, she just has like tissue paper or cloth around her it's loose and her feet are free she could easily walk away but this person tends to play this victim card this victim role like look at her if she was laying flat she'd be like the damsel or the male what's i don't know what the male version of a damsel is <laughs> on the on the tracks you know damsel in distress on the tracks looking for someone to save him or her from this very it's almost like a, a it's like a false kind of thing like they could easily get out of this but let's see why there's a challenge here what justice justice is trying to come in here i, I just heard karma a car karmic it, it's not time for somebody to get their their deliverance is what i feel And it might be hard for you to give some kind of a truth to somebody. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yeah, look. And she holds these, this sword as well. So this sits in like the challenge. It it would be a benefit for you to um, try to seek the truth or listen to what somebody said. But some of you might just be like running away. Like no, sneaking away, getting out of something here. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's take a look at this Eight of Swords here. All right, King of Swords is here again. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This person talks a lot of haberdash, talks a big game. Oh, you know, poor me. They're very intellectual and very intentional. And usually the King of Swords is telling the truth. And I do feel like this person, their truth is that they... Um, always feel kind of like a victim in situations, but they don't take responsibility for themselves. Um, but it also feels to me like they're trapped. Like they have, um, like in their head, in their mind, um, they're like a self-imposed prisoner. That's basically it. 
There's a lot of restrictions here as well with this person with wherever they are. They might even be in prison. Um, they isolate themselves a lot. They purposefully do that. They might even say things to you to make it seem like that's not the case, but it feels like in the present, I feel like they're going to try to talk to you or communicate with you and tell you that they've been stuck or in, I don't know, maybe they got thrown in jail or they um, are not, their self esteem is shattered or something else is going on. But the energy is having a hard time coming through for this person. Some of you might have just, like I said, left town or just got away. Okay. Um, this person, when they think of you, they see that you're, you know, some of you might be on the cusp of Leo Virgo, but they think of you as being very bold and brazen. Okay. Pretty feisty. You're self-assured and confident. And I feel like when they think of you, this is what they see. You're fiery and passionate and you have no problem roaring whatever your sign is, uh, meaning like whether you're a cusper or you're full-fledged uh, Virgo, you're coming across, this is how they view you, like hot to the touch, you know, like the sun, burn, you burn them, Virgo. <laughs> Look, knight of swords, you're very assertive, they view you as being very assertive and direct, you don't pull any punches, Virgo, you shoot right from the hip. You shoot right, right from the hip with this person. And I feel like they're actually pretty attracted to that. And this makes, this drives them like in their mind, they want to come towards you and they, they like the challenge. Okay. They want to talk. They also view you as someone who could talk really well, but they like the challenge that you just sit here with this queen of wands energy. Like, like your, your ish doesn't stink. <laughs> I don't I don't view the Queen of Wands male or female. I don't view the Queen of Wands as someone who's like angry or cold or aggressive. Um assertive, yes, but you're not sitting here like they view you uh, as not being someone who's angry but very assertive and direct, okay? Um and I kind of feel like you Maybe in the past you called this person out on something. Maybe they, you know, with the world card. Um, this can be a card of emigration. So that would be like leaving a situation or they closed the book or they were starting something else new in their life and just kind of, you know, maybe they went traveling or they, they did something. I just feel like something ended in the past. And I don't know if you ended it or they ended it or it just broke in half, but it kind of feels like there's an energy of wanting to talk presently and it's real difficult because I feel like you wouldn't believe a thing that they say. Now, I wasn't asking anything with the lovers this year. Um, this is a very difficult twin flame connection for some of you and for others. And this is Gemini energy. For others, this is really just, there's a decision about love is being made right now. And I feel like your person is making a decision to try to work on this partnership. It doesn't mean that they're actually doing it, but they're in that kind of decision mode. Now what's coming towards you is success, Virgo. Um, you have the six of wands. So recognition, you've got some good news coming in for you. Maybe an award. You're in victory mode. Like things are going to get better. Whatever your, you know, whatever's going on in your life at this time. Okay. They just gave us the moon. So we have Piscean energy here. Things are going to start clearing up for you, Virgo. I feel like right now you're kind of in like this fog. You know, some of you. Some of you might not be. Um, this person may get through and try to give you some truth. But like I said, I, 
I don't feel like you're really going to trust it because of the Seven of Swords. It's just deception and lies. It's dishonesty is what I feel. Okay, But I do feel like things that were unseen, these unseen problems, um, you really trusting your intuition about doing the right thing like i feel like you're going to get to that place like something is going to be slightly revealed to you that's going to let you know that you've made a good decision with whatever decisions you are currently making in your life and you're going to get some kind of like i feel like reparation for that something's going to come to you because whatever was in the dark is going to slowly come out into the light going forward right now you may not be fully sure about where you stand or what's going on with you oh look knight of wands for some of you it's going to become clear that this person was simply coming to like coming towards you about uh, in an energy of being um like with sex i'm trying not to say the word <laughs> with um sexual lust okay um, where maybe there was a desire to try to have a partnership or something, and it seems like this really, it, this might become clear to you, okay? Um, I feel like this is more of an energy of taking a look at things and seeing that um, maybe that's what the relationship was really all about. Is the passion there? Yes. But something was clouded and hidden because the moon can be very deceptive energy and, uh, and again, more lies or dishonesty. But I feel like something's going to come to light for you about this person. I just want to get another card here for that. Okay. Yeah. Things are going to come into balance, which is really beautiful for you. I feel like some of you... you really just in the present don't really know fully what the truth is or you do but you know when someone is lying to you over and over whether this is a lover or a friend um or anybody else in your life like you you know that there's lies and deception and dishonesty um it's really hard presently to get at the truth even if this person comes in with that truth or tries to come in because i do see there's an energy of communication and like a new start of communication with somebody trying to work on the partnership and overcome the problems i think you are like i don't even know if that person can be trusted anymore you know how you know what they say because it's all about the words here so in the near future towards the end of august going into september i think think clarity will come things will begin to be revealed to you and things will really come into balance you're going to get into a neutral position which is good the highs and lows will kind of level out for you here with temperance um balance harmony moderation and you'll definitely be in more self-control of your emotions yes because she is holding two cups there and your emotions in regard to this relationship now your advice here you have the ten of pentacles so your advice is to stay safe secure and sturdy right standing on terra firma <laughs> standing your ground not budging i feel like not budging i don't usually get that from the ten of pentacles but this means also retirement so if you've retired this relationship if you've hung up the jersey on this relationship at this time um, keep it retired for now because I feel like more is going to be revealed. I do feel like this person is going to try to come in and work on this partnership. And, and I do feel like they do love you. Um, partnership, marriage, whichever. They are going to try to manifest this with you. Um, but you, you're trying to get clear with yourself. Because you need more information about things here with that moon card. You need to get clarity on 
whatever might have been the lies or the deception. You're trying to have the truth be revealed on its own. Some of you may even be looking at your dreams and have your dreams telling you, giving you information. Now, this person's got the seven of wands here. Um, so their energy is, they're in protective mode. They're ready to fight. Fight for the partnership. Eight of Pentacles. Um, put effort in. Um, really do the work. Let's take a look. Two of Pentacles. Wow. Bring balance back into the uh, into the situation. Um, there's only two options here, and that's you and them. Oh, I just heard their song. There's only you and me, and we just disagree. That's an old song. Um, yeah, you guys definitely, they, they disagree. If you ended something with this person, they disagree with that decision. <laughs> and they're going to fight. They're going to fight. I want to see what this heartbreak is. I just want to take a little trip back to the past here. Oh, Virgo, I just heard. Wow. Some of you, not all of you, okay? Some of you, and I know maybe you don't understand, but I just got this message from these three cards. Some of you schooled this person and walked away and, st and left. You schooled them. Maybe there was something about a third party or there was some, you know, maybe there was cheating or something like that. You schooled this person and then you put an end to it. For some of you, this could have been years and years and years ago. And for others, this could have been 10 minutes ago. It really just depends. And I feel like it's real hard for you to get at the truth. And that might just be because maybe at this point you just don't care. You don't want to know anymore, right? You know what you know. You know there was deception. You know maybe there was lies. Okay. So Page of Pentacles here. I was looking back here. But I was kind of feeling like I just heard, hey, here's an idea. How about no more of this? I just heard that with this card. <laughs> Look, let me show you. Here, take my take my light bulb idea and move it. <laughs> move on. I don't know what it, I don't know whether I just keep seeing a light bulb, like some kind of a uh, wake up. Like the I, I I don't know if this person you were with it was like I don't know if the lights were on and nobody was home. You know, maybe you had to add another light bulb to them to make them see something, but. You, you did something. Oh, I, and then they just gave me that song, I've Got the Power. Um, God, that's an old, what is with it? The old songs, like what do I have? Like a um, cassette tape of, of old <laughs> songs from the 90s that just roll and roll through my head? I don't know what it is, but it, I just heard, you've got the power. <laughs> I don't even know where who that's from. So your hope is really Virgo. You do hope in some ways that this person is, you know, going to try to work with you again, try to make things work. You, some of you are hoping that there's going to be an apology and a reconciliation because the lovers can be that and that they do try to really work on this partnership and and it progresses to something but some of you also fear you may be waiting for a long time and I feel like that's why right now you just need to stand still you need to just retire that jersey and just Stick with your family, people who are strong and supportive of you and they love you and you're tight. Stick with those people you're tight with. Oh, there's the karma card. Yep. Revelation. Yeah, you're going to get some revelation, maybe from family, friends, or people who are, are you going to start seeing something? Because I do feel like here's what I said. Here's the moon card, right? You're going to you're going to things are going to be revealed to you, the truth. And your advice is to wait, just wait. That's why temperance is here. Patience. 
Everything's going to come to you. The, the truth that you're going to know yourself without any without this person telling you, because even if, like I said, they come in with the truth, you, you don't believe it because of that seven of swords, that deception. The truth will come to you. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. This is judgment. This represents clarity. A wake-up call you're gonna understand things as as time goes on but I feel like this person is gonna definitely stand up and try to fight for this relationship work on the partnership give the relationship a chance you know um, move it to the next level I see that energy there with them come in with very stable energy with this two of Pentacles might be something about them that was very unstable in the past. Okay, there are. Here's two of cups. Starting all over again. Trying to come back together in a romantic relationship. Proposal. Marriage. Love partnership. Let's see. The outcome here. The four of cups and the three of cups. This person doesn't want to let you go. They're not going to give up. They're going to, they are going to try to have some kind of reunion with you here. They're not going to let you go. And they may even be watching you out with your friends or enjoying your life and hiding because that can be someone who is kind of hiding. This person is going to show up with this long-term security energy. Um, I feel like they're also not going to be uh, messing around with anybody else here. They're just going to be blocking that energy. Because that Three of Cups can be like celebrations with friends um, and things like that. This person is kind of like blocking all of that and keeping to themselves. But I do feel like that Three of Cups is kind of like a reunion uh, card. Trying to get together again. Not willing to let go. Um I do feel like they are going to come in with truth. I do. But I feel like for you, Virgo, you're like, I'll find the truth on my own. I don't believe what you say. <laughs> yep. Tower is here. Okay. Things are breaking down. This is an energy. Like this person, I feel like you are, you've, you've crushed or broken this person's ego. Like you split their head open wide open here this is the death of the ego you see that crown how it's like knocked off the top of the head there <laughs> and this is like i don't even feel like you did it i just feel like you might have had but the real effect is coming from you know another source this is like upheaval in this person's life Okay, um, this is like change is coming in and it's just happening. Very interesting. This is very interesting, this reading. Um, I just feel like you, you, you know, you're trying to, you want things to be revealed to you when God, Spirit, Universe, reveals it to you you don't you're not going to listen to what anyone else tells you you're just giving things time for the dust to clear and settle so that you can like see through do you ever hear that saying um be patient wait for the mud to settle in the water because when it's floating around in the water you really can't see clearly and you can't see anything you've got to be patient and wait for it to settle and then you're then things become crystal clear. You're gonna you're seeking your own truth, not anybody else's truth. So let's see what the love messages are from this person. I regret lying to you. Yeah, this person lied to you. They they're a liar. Just lying, even a white lie, is a lie. I don't even care. Virgo, you want the truth. You can handle the truth. 
<laughs> you can handle the truth. Yeah, you can, Virgo. Um, if this person just came and gave you the absolute truth, then things would have been, for you, Virgo, you're able to work with that, with the truth. You cannot work with a liar. You cannot work with someone. You can't build anything with someone who's lying because it's false. Okay? It's like buying a house and somebody telling you the foundation is sturdy and is structured and good. It's structurally good and everything's great and no worries. You buy the house and then you find out the house is sinking. Why? Because they lied about it. Right? You can't do anything with that. And this person, why do they regret lying to you? I think because you because you 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 let it you let it go you moved on and it seems like they really do love you and they really want to be with you maybe they lied because they weren't capable of being with you they look for you everywhere so some of you virgos just off the radar you're done. This person is seeking you out. They're looking for you. They want to try to fix this. I feel you. Even though we are apart. Yeah, you guys are definitely apart. You're not connecting with this person at this time. But I do feel like... It really, at the end here, at the end of the month or going into September, this person's watching you behind some kind of closed door facade of some sort. I just feel that energy. Like they're hiding behind this coin, but it's not really hiding them and you kind of know they're there. Some of you are putting on a show. <laughs> some of you are just going out and having a good time putting on a show others of you are just really enjoying your life and um i feel like at the outset you know it, in a lot of ways it's just kind of breaking their ego down here because because they needed that maybe they're too much up in their head and it and the relationship just it's broken it's damaged and that's why they have work on the partnership work on your partnership and I feel like Virgo you put a lot of effort in here maybe you're trying to help them or teach them things or just trying to do your best to um, team up with them and partner with them but you were working with someone who whose heart was already broken perhaps or someone who just was not capable of giving you what you needed, the best they could do was like give you that page energy, which is kind of childish. Maybe make like these, give you all these ideas and plans and stuff and make it seem like it was real with this pentacle, you see. And you didn't take it. And now they're left sitting here with that pentacle, <laughs> watching you living your life. And it, I just feel like with this tower moment, it's kind of like, boom. All right. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Maybe you will, Virgo. Maybe you will. And if you do, that would be awesome. Forgive this person for they know not what they do. They probably didn't even realize what they were doing. And that's not your problem. And that's not your fault. You know, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make that horse drink, you know, and you were there and you were loving that person. And I suspect that they were loving you as well and they still love you, but there was something about the love, but they were lying as well. And that, that just doesn't fit. The timing just wasn't right for us. And I feel like for a lot of you, that does play a role there. The timing between the two of you. Um, maybe you wanted the relationship more than they did. Um, or you or they weren't ready, but you were trying to make them be ready or get them to be ready. And 
you've done the work abundance flows to you now so i feel like with the six of wands good things are going to come towards you um, whatever you've been working on you're definitely going to get some recognition for that or whatever you've been doing sometimes i hear your voice in my head so somehow this person maybe they have headphones on or they can hear you or something like that they want to tell you so many things but i kind of feel like they're gonna try to come in and tell you things um i'm not sure what you're gonna do your advice here is just to stay things will be revealed to you just it just says to stay this ten of pentacles feels like brick and mortar you know you can't move a house just be a house virgo just be strong and steady some of you might be like buying a new home or moving or redecorating or spending time with family or coming to terms your advice might be like open up and and ask yourself what do you want do you want marriage do you want commitment i left before you could leave me so for some of you this person did leave you and then you had no other choice but to leave as well but they were very deceptive they are very deceptive right now their behavior Okay, balance one person is giving too much in this relationship and that's what i feel virgo like you you gave more than you probably should have um might have been some codependency in this connection um and maybe you're trying to heal from that at this time or you're just you know reeling it back in i just saw a funny meme um that my friend Aldra posted she said it or no 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 um who was it I forget no it wasn't Audrey it was somebody else Karen and she said and she's not a Karen and she goes you know it's funny uh sometimes I'm so nice and so loving to the telemarketers when they call that right before I hang out they or they always tell me oh I love you too like they always give me their love she goes I guess maybe I should start reeling it in a little bit reeling it back in a bit more <laughs> I mean Virgo you're such a loving soul and you care so much about people and you, any attempts like you work so hard to fix relate the relationship or make but it's always to make things better it's never to criticize the person you just know you know how to fix things or you know you're very open and intuitive with with how you feel and you can you can cut right through things and you can see exactly what's going on um look here <laughs> there's there's a, a wrench i think you use your tools you have all the tools in the book to bring transformation butterfly and joy into a partnership like you know how to be in a relationship virgo so don't think that if you've been in something that was that brought your self-esteem or your self-worth down or felt made you feel restricted in who you are that's not that's that's not really who you are now you might be dealing with someone maybe you're carrying around a wrench or you're trying to fix something in your house at this time um the butterfly feels like transformation but this little smiley face you might get a smiley face from someone like a text but this is like this is like i feel that song and maybe you should listen to this don't worry be happy just don't stop don't overanalyze it don't worry <gasps> don't worry about things i'm not taking all of these because that's insanity but i will take this here's one there's a letter coming for you virgo i don't know if you guys can see that but it's like a little brown envelope maybe something in a brown envelope or you're packing something up in a brown envelope i feel like you're gonna get some kind of correspondence or letter uh, from somebody okay or from your person or something that's going to come in that will make you very happy and i feel like <sighs> something that you you really need at this time okay you've got a unicorn somebody might tell you that you're like a unicorn to them or you are their unicorn <laughs> or somebody called you a unicorn this is unicorn is so pretty because he's he's white and he's got purple mane and a purple tail tail so he's like lavender color um 
you're special, Virgo. I feel like some of your message that's with that letter is going to be some kind of letter. And then you've got a ship's wheel here. So you're at the, you're at the, is it the stern? I don't know. You're at the captain's wheel. You're steering this ship in your life. You're making these decisions for yourself. It's not that you hate somebody, but I feel like you're not dealing with lies and deception. Oh, uh, look, purity, the cross. All right, some of you are doing a lot of praying or just re-establishing your faith in yourself, in God, in your life, believing, having hope again. And then we've got this palm tree. I feel like palm trees always show up in your readings, Virgo, but you know, maybe there's somebody who lives near palm trees or you, you know, maybe you're drinking coconut milk or have you have coconut oil somewhere around you or you're using coconut oil okay um let me just get one card for advice for you see what your message is here virgo one message advice card please for virgo okay they gave you three so Queen of Swords, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. You're seeing the humor in difficult situations. You're focusing on your career. This could be a card for divorced or unmarried individuals or people who are separated. Um, so I feel like your advice here with this card is to release at this time situations or people that, and I hate to say no longer serve you in the sense of like, oh, you're just hoity-toity and everyone should bow at your feet. It's not that. It's more along the lines of like, you have to have your boundaries. Um, it's people who are coming into your life and taking advantage of you and not giving anything back in return. That's what you have to release. You also have, ooh, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, you may be working too hard or you have multiple jobs. Um, you may need to balance that. Um, you need to bring balance and fun into your life, Virgo. And I know what's going on in the world. It might be difficult for some. Um, you're juggling a lot of priorities at this time. So you really have your hands full in your life right now, Virgo. Um, and some of you need to balance your budget. <laughs> Take a look at your budget. And you have the two of swords. So right now you are unable or unwilling to make a decision. Okay? And that's okay. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Don't pretend that there is no problem. And don't overanalyze a situation. Just stay still. That's the two of swords energy. Okay? Um, you know that it may be time to figure stuff out. Um, but you can't do this right now. You can't make this decision right now because you have just, you're not clear. When the mud settles, you'll be clear. And then there's transformation. A significant life experience will require changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelation is going to come towards you. You will be breaking free of old belief systems and procrastination so just give it time virgo i feel like you just got to get some rest <laughs> that's what i feel things will be revealed to you as time goes on all right virgo and then you will know once you start seeing signs and things the dust clears the mud settles then you'll be able to go forward and figure out like what your next step is but right now clear it out <laughs> clear it out Virgo. All right. I love you guys. I hope that was helpful. Again, link below the video for a personal reading and please do hit like, share, and subscribe. You guys, I truly, truly uh, appreciate the support. We're all um, or a thousand, a thousand, uh, clicks away from 10,000 subscribers. So it means so much to me if I could get that up there, uh, a big accomplishment. So, all right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.